What's up guys, it's good morning, afternoon, night, whenever you're watching this video. Um, I had a video already ready and prepped that continued our trip from, I believe the last thing we saw was us leaving the Bucky's and Warden, headed out to Laredo with that, uh, I believe it was a tanker that was 8x8x24, eight by eight by weighed roughly around 9,000 pounds. Um, I had a video already set, but unfortunately I was rushing, it was my mistake. I deleted the clips, so then the video got corrupted. Sorry. Um, it's a lesson I learned. Uh, I gotta be more patient. I gotta think my stuff through. If if I have to, I have to slow down sometimes, you know, or else stuff like that happens. But anyways, I'll just give you a quick recap of what happened. Um, we made it to Laredo. Uh, I believe me and my dad we swapped driving once. He drove about two hours, and then he swapped with me. Um, no big deal. He traded it with me around like, I don't remember exactly. All I know is that we, I drove like the last two hours of the trip. So we showed up at, I believe, 8.30 and they opened at 9 and they were nice enough to let us sit in the yard. So we sat in the yard, me and my dad, and they told us where, to, where we could sit and we could unstrap the load, which was easy. So we unstrapped it. And they came in with two huge heavy-duty forklifts, um, came in, one on each side, and they had this type of, like, uh, crane attached, not a crane, but, like, uh, to extend their forks out as to where it could be, like, a, um, they can use, like, straps to, like, the heavy-duty straps that are just made for picking up loads and moving them, transferring from stuff from trailer to trailer or taking it off the trailer. So with two heavy-duty forks, they came, forks, forklifts, they came, then they came around and they, uh, put a, a, a strap, the heavy duty straps on the, on the tanker, picked it up about three or four feet. Then my dad drove off and then, uh, they just reversed a little bit and then a semi reversed back and then they just put the tanker on top of the semi. Now we had our own dunnage that we put, uh, under the tanker. It was three pieces of dunnage that we had under there. And the owner said, or the guy running the yard was all like, Hey, I'm gonna keep your dunnage because it's already like warped to the wood or to the to the tanker but I'll give you extra dunnage as compensation or new dunnage and we were like okay that's that's fine we, we can work with that so when he gave us when he finished loading we were going to the office and I saw that they had a bunch of straps left there so I was like hey keep the three dunnages if you can give me two of those four inch 30 foot straps he just looked at me said take them don't worry about it and I think that was a good deal. Three dunnages for two forty or thirty foot straps, two thirty or two thirty foot four inch straps. Yeah, it's a good deal. So then from there we went to the container yard in Laredo that was about roughly forty five minutes away. Made it to the yard, loaded the container. There was a gentleman in front of us, um, a heavy set dude. Um, he this was the first time he loaded a container. He's usually He's been doing, he's been in the street for a few years, he told me, but he had never loaded something that tall. He usually likes to do low loads. So apparently he had been there for like 30 minutes. He had only put a chain in the front and a chain in the back on the container. So us seeing that he was struggling a little bit, I was like, hey, let me help you. I showed him a little bit of a, somewhat of a technique on how to throw the, the, the strap over the container. Because mind you, I'm used to doing it on a hot shot, which is the, it's, it's shorter than a semi. Like, we got a good uh, distance between the trailers, but we still, I chunked all three of them for him, explained to him how it was done, and I even helped him, like, tie it down. He was so grateful. He was so happy. He was like, I've been stuck here for 30 minutes. I didn't know what to do. You know, that's part of the business. You got to help each other out. So then um, we did that. We left Laredo, and then we ended up coming back to the house because we had to drop off in Houston, and like I said, I live about 30, 40 minutes roughly from Houston. So we came to the house chilled and then that's probably where this video continues. So hope you enjoy. What's up guys? Next morning uh drop off. Got right here the container that I picked up from Laredo. Uh going to Houston. I checked my GPS. It's roughly about forty five minutes away. I don't know exactly what time they open, but I wake up at five thirty to get prepped for the day. It's maybe like 5.45 right now. And, um, yeah. 
Just checking the load, making sure everything's good and secure. Nice, tight, nice and tight. So we can get going, we can deliver this container and get it off my trailer. I already have another load booked, picking up in Beaumont. So I want to get this off it ASAP and go pick up ASAP so we can continue the day. So catch on the road. So I made it on site here at the container yard. Um, I see that there's a somebody. Well, let me do that right there. There's somebody parked right there in front of us. I thought he was asleep, so the gate was open. I went inside and um, you know waited to get attended. I was gonna go to the office, and then somebody came out of the office and they came and they told me, "Hey, we open at eight. Could you please go park outside?" Okay, so I had to uh, bust a UE inside the container yard, which was not difficult, you know, comes with experience. And then I had to come back here. The little bit of a hard part was getting back into this, this spot where I'm at because it's a two lane road and I, like they got gravel on both sides as to where we can pull over because this is like a, a trucker um, area. So, I mean, it was a little difficult, but it got, it, I got, I got it done. So now I'm parked back here. It's 715. I got to wait till eight for them to open the yard. But, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little frustrated that they didn't let me stay inside. But then again, their yard, their rules, can't do nothing about it. If they want you out of their yard till eight, then get your ass out of the yard. There's no point in arguing with them, you know? It's their yard. They're the ones ultimately who are going to decide or who are going to take the container off of you. So follow the rules and everything should go smooth and fine the guy came out you know being polite good morning hey you gotta go outside wait outside yes sir completely fine i'll step out no worries so yeah that's sitting here waiting until eight shouldn't be that long just loosen it up then they'll come check it out and then we're good to go I'm in the yard now, uh, got all my paperwork done. They were pretty nice here. Uh, the terrain here is a little bit bumpy, but you know, nothing my Ram can't handle. Well, my dad's Ram, this is White Dove, this is his truck. But yeah, nothing this truck can't handle. Uh, just gotta take it nice and slow, drop off, get this container off, load up, or not load up, but go to the next pickup site Load up and go. In the yard, fill out some paperwork. Now I'm just waiting for the operator to show up, offload the gentleman in front of me, so then he can come offload me, so then I could leave, get my paperwork, and continue on trucking, hot shotting, small trucking, whatever you want to call it. I like calling it hot shot trucking. Mini trucking? No, that's the small one. Mini, hot, uh, I'll just stop rambling, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right, boys, it's currently nine o'clock. Um, we were sitting here for an hour waiting. Uh, I met up with a whole bunch of truckers. This is an amazing community. We all talked, we all chit-chat, we all had a little bit of fun, a little downtime. 
because we had we they weren't unloading us so we were just wondering what was going on the dude just forgot to come and offload us which sucks but you know i made some good friends here the trucking community is amazing um some people might not like it some people might like it you know you can meet all types of people in the industry not just this industry but in life in general and these are some awesome people i met here definitely will, will remember these people but yeah let's get this thing offloaded so we can continue going and moving and making some more moves getting some more miles on the truck rolling these wheels Thank you. 